you're from the upstate New York area. Is that where you're from? Uh, yeah, Syracuse, New York. Okay, from Syracuse, New York. So, does this mean you're a Bills fan? Or what What's your football allegiance, Patrick? <laughs> Uh, lately, been a, uh, just my fantasy team, but okay. uh, I, I grew up a Jaguars fan. Oh, okay, um, I got to follow up on that. How do you grow up a Jaguars fan sitting there in Syracuse, New York? Is that a, is that a Coughlin thing, maybe? Um, well, kind of. I did like him, but I I got I started getting into the NFL when they came out in '95. And okay, just kind of stick with them, and um, I got a couple brothers and, and a sister. We all have different teams, and it was kind of a similar thing like that. Okay, and in terms of growing up uh, a baseball fan. Is it true you, Patrick Corbin, were a Yankee fan? Is that a true story? Yeah, for sure. Every every kid that I grew up with and uh, my parents, everybody grew up Yankee fans. Okay. Uh, are you aware that most Yankee fans wanted you to sign with the Yankees in the uh, <laughs> last year? Are you aware that most Yankee fans thought that you were going to sign with the Yankees last year? I know that's two separate questions, but you may answer mm-hmm. both. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I I did say a couple of things. I grew up a fan, and, and people kind of blew that up. But um, kind of had the opportunity to talk to you and your multiple teams and good situations wanted me. And um, it, it would have been cool to, to say that I was a Yankee, but I, I think I made the right move by, by coming to Washington. No, and, no, and no. What we did. Patrick, I'm not saying that you made a wrong maneuver at all. I mean, just and understand, I'm from Staten Island, New York. Uh, R- Reggie Jackson and, and that 70s team caused me to fall in love with baseball. Don Mattingly is my favorite player of all time. So this does come from a very personal point of view. Um, did they not come up with the scratch? Is that what happened? Or what? what's the scoop? Um, they were like dialogue between um, other teams, and they were kind of a little bit off. And um, like I said, we, we, we wanted to, to go somewhere where um, we felt, felt comfortable in a team that was going to win. And obviously New York would have done that, and, and Washington was another place. And um, they, they were a little off from, from some of those teams. And, mm-hmm. um I mean, that's kind of what it is. That's kind of what it is. And now you're shirtless on a Zamboni lifting a trophy. I understand. <laughs> that's the way life works sometimes, huh? <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, this this team was incredible. I mean, I'm sure you guys watched, um, I mean, at least that postseason run that we had. And uh, just a, a real special Patrick, group. I got to tell you, man, it was, it, you know, I, I do believe there are baseball gods. I do believe it. And that sometimes the baseball gods put a little bit of a thumb on the scale. And the way that you performed for much of the season after you mentioned that 19-31 and 31 start, the way that, um, that you won the wild card game against Milwaukee, the way that you wound up boat racing your way essentially into the World Series, uh, and, and, and everything else caused me to believe that there was something going on there with your team. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I mean, one thing doesn't go our way. I mean, we could have been out of that wild card game. That ball goes right to him. It, it kicks left and gets by him. So, uh, just a crazy run. That's right. And if the Steinbrenners had only kicked over a rock and done what they should have done with you, you never know. But that's just me. <laughs> Easy, buddy. I'm sorry. Easy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.